All right, so we've got a new leaker. Now, as some of you know, probably not a lot of you, um, if you're just keeping up to date with the channel, but our leaker who's been leaking for the past, well, year, basically since season one. Well, Vanilla left, all right? Vanilla's guy left, and it was honestly a bit unfortunate, right? Vanilla was very dedicated to pretty much getting everything. And even back in the days when there was only a private server where she gave us leaks, now it's an, it was a public server that she migrated to for global launch, uh, near global launch. Um, she was, you know, well-liked and she was great. You know, we were friends. So very unfortunate that she left, but you know, all the love to her. Now we do have a new leaker and he also is able, this person, I, I don't know if it's a he, we'll just say they, um, this person is able to get animations of units and is seemingly able to also um maybe maybe we'll be able to encode some stuff so it does seem like he's able to access he they're able to access more stuff than vanilla in the game so maybe we're going to be able to start getting leaked kits again because there were there was heavy encryption now we've got a lot of good stuff to talk about okay and this confirms the next four units alongside my discord so there's actually well i guess oh i my bad uh, with the help of Ali Conley, who is, well, now going to post the leaks himself, now that he has access. Um, he is able to get the info from a lot of other stuff. So we have, like, all the stuff for KRJP that's going to be coming out. And we're going to have some new info as to release dates on certain things. So first of all, let's talk about this. Now, this is an elf, you know, okay, with his royal knights. Oh, actually, is it elf? It doesn't seem to be. It just seems to be the robe. Now, if we're looking at it, this seems to just be the normal, you know, with this uh, Royal Knight's robe. So I think this might just be um, a skin. Now, it's hard to tell, but if it is a skin, I'd be happy. I, I just want to use this robe. I'm not going to lie. I really feel like these robes are drippy as hell. So please let me use it, okay? Please let me use it. Um, if not, it would be an elf, you know. And I mean, I guess that works too. Nothing too crazy, but, you know, that's the first thing. Now we're going to get into actual uh, fun territory. Now, we've got a, oh, we've got a Zora and a Vanessa in suits, okay? Now, these suits, if uh, I pull up my news Twitter, are actually ones that were in a color page. So, we see Vanessa's and we see Zora's here, and, you know, obviously kind of hard to make it bad. But, bro, this means we can get all the other ones. We can get knocked in the future. Secrets, Noels, Magnus. I, bro, I need, they could do Gordon. They could actually do Gordon a seasonal soon, especially with the poison buff. They should do it now. Uh, these are actually new units. We can see it's new animations and it's not stuff that's in the game. And you can see that was a briefcase. Okay, so basically, this guy's taking a briefcase and then Vanessa's got a gun. She's gonna fucking shoot the opponents. She's got a Glock. Like, oh my god. So, yeah, no. I think these two seasonals are actually going to be sick, okay? Um, now, we're going to transition over before anything else into actually this. So, um, Mario, this is JP timeline, but it actually does affect global. Reason being, these units obviously are going to come to uh, global. So, let's talk about when they come out on JP, and then we're going to talk about um, when they should be coming on global. So, Mario Rerun is May 11th. Now, if you want to see the times in your time zone, all that stuff, when they should be coming exactly, you can actually sign up. Uh, you could go into roles, right? Get in the Discord, link down below. Then you put leaks, okay? Get your little frog, and then you go in leaks, okay? So, starting off, Mario Rerun is going to be May 11th. Now, Valkyrie Noel should be coming May 15th. She is two weeks away, guys. Like, literally two weeks away. She'll be coming out in two Wednesdays. I'm very hyped for that. Even sooner, if uh, in certain cases, we'll have to see. Could be Monday. They could actually release her Monday. That wouldn't be bad. But the next two seem to be dates that he found. And um, that would be the next ones being Finral and Grey. Now, as for the Finral and Grey that it is, we're going to pull it up in Google in a sec. But it should just be, obviously, normal Grey. Now, I find it a bit odd, in my opinion, that Grey is getting her own unit, in my opinion, as an SSR. I feel like a lot of people did want her, but as an SR. But please let me know down below if I'm mistaken and y'all would actually F with it, right? I don't think it's a horrible unit, for sure. But it's just maybe not something that uh, I thought personally was needed to be an SSR. I feel like it took a slot away from another good unit, which is why I feel that them remaking SRs would be tremendous. Like, actually tremendous. 
but we'd have to see. So obviously this is the uh, Finral that I am talking about. This one right here with the green hair. And then we got gray, obviously. So those are the two units we're actually going to be getting in, well, at the end. I don't know why I showed that, but at the end of May. And what's really cool is this is basically the start of season 13, or it is the start of season 13. So um, these units are going to be where the major update happens with 125 and then also the dot changes now these two units are probably both going to be supporters if we're being honest okay federal should be supporter and gray i'm pretty sure the icons both showed them as like supporter type of stuff so because of that um if we could actually check up uh so federal this is definitely a supporter like look at this that's not a healer and then gray 2 has the stars stars to me usually always mean support and i don't know like we could see some pretty cool stuff and because of the fact that we're moving away from the mono meta, as is apparent with the new light typing and them wanting to expand the meta, as they said themselves, to me, it means Federal and Grey will be very good units for uh, that. And the supports will definitely define the next six or so months because they usually, from what I'm seeing, uh, every six months is when the meta is going to take a big change. Now, then, two weeks later, on June 12th, is when we're getting um, Zora and Vanessa. Obviously, being these two. So for the full next six weeks, we got a full schedule for the units. And this it's been a while since we've had stuff like this. So very happy about that. Um, one of the main things I definitely think is that uh, for Global, it should be pretty apparent when these units come out. Valkyrie Noel should be Season 10. Okay. Um, now, the pickups for Fenrir and Grey is going to be Season 9. It should be. So unless they start making a different unless they start changing banner schedules this will be season nine because obviously fests are always even numbers as spirit dive mario was season six spirit dive season eight black Osta season four julia season two so always even so funeral and grace should be odd being the season nine and then these guys are season 13 but should be season fucking 11 bro okay because we got okay we got two three we got, yeah, so season 8 we have, season 9 we have. No, no, they're going to be season 10. I think they'll be season 10. Yeah, they'll be season 10. Because they actually skipped a seasonal, it's true. So they, these guys are going to be season 10. Okay. Did they skip? I don't know. They're either season 10 or 11. But uh, yeah, no. Uh, I think these two units are going to be pretty sick. Vanessa with a gun. And the thing is with Vanessa is that we do have another uh, seasonal, but she's not really um, the best in terms of DPS. I could see her being a DPS. If not a DPS, I don't know. I feel like Zora is going to probably get a either full-on supporter now or an attacker. So Vanessa, like, is she going to be a supporter, like another supporter? But she's got a gun. So you got to, like, would you make her an attacker? But you, there, a lot of stuff we could speculate I'll leave that um, to you guys to do in the comments down below as to what you guys think they'll be. Now, um, next up, we got a Sekre, well, like, the pose. So, obviously, we knew Sekre's uh, model was in-game because of the, well, first thing they ever showed us for Black Clover Mobile. She was actually in the trailer. Now, her model's still there, right? It's still there. So, I mean, so they're probably just getting stuff prepped for Royal Knights, but I thought it would be pretty cool to check and actually talk about that. Now, pretty cool one is that Dorothy actually has it. Um, and what do they call it? They call it uh, Dorothy Model Leak and Costumes Black Clover Mobile. So, if it was just the first thing, eh, but now this is probably the intro. Looking at it, these are the intros or the windscreens. And to me, I mean, Dorothy should be coming soon. We know we have her skill page, and now we know if this stuff. I actually think this maid skin is really nice. But I'll probably just rock with the normal one. I do like the normal one. But uh, yeah, Dorothy is going to be coming maybe in the next like three, four months. My guess. My guess is three, four months. So, you know, that's cool. And then finally, we got Valkyrie Noel. So obviously the colors are not added. Okay. So there's no blue on her. But still, it looks very nice. Then we got the skin. I think this one looks pretty bad on uh, Valkyrie Noel. Especially because she still got like the little helmet. It just doesn't fit. Um, and then this one also is mid. So hopefully they give a uh, like one like they give Mario, Julius, and Asta. Actually, Asta got some shitty ones. So like Mario and Julius for sure. But uh, yeah, no, Valkyrie uh, is one of them. And you know, if you want to follow them, please do. I think they gained like 100 subscribers. Uh, subscribers, Followers today. Um, they've been posting for a bit, right? So there's some other stuff we could check, like some other skins that I do want to kind of talk about just to make it important. These are uh, actual skins, not seasonals. Because of the fact that the intro is the same. Uh, same thing here. It, I'm pretty sure it's the same. So it's just a new set, right? Nothing too crazy. Same with this. Yuno has this skin already. Um, so that's nothing new. And then Ghost, I could see this being new. 
if this isn't new bro if this isn't a halloween skin i will be surprised that has to be like he's got to have some bats with him there's no way that's not a halloween skin there's a seasonal seasonal not a skin this has to be a seasonal for sure now this fuego skin um it's like the julius and the mario one we have and the yami one so it's nothing new for sure um, I wish they would really sell about their fuego, but hopefully soon. Now, this is an old skin, so I don't know, this, I don't think this is coming, so we're just gonna gloss over that. Now, for the first Danny, they actually got this. So, you can see here it says first Danny, right, in a bit small, maybe it says it better here. Yeah, so first anniversary, right there. So, uh, yeah, no, two new, uh, skins. Now, I'm a bit confused, because these are new poses. For, for Mimosa, it's a new pose, and it's an idle pose. So I don't know what exactly this is going to be. If they give a free unit for Mimosa, that would be hype. But it's it seems to be a costume. It's cheerle cheerleaders. It looks great. Um, I have Bro, Noel skills are just not going hard right now. Mimosa looks great, though. So we'll see how this goes. But I think the coolest parts for me is this ghost skin. Obviously, the Dorothy being more confirmed. And obviously, Zora and Vanessa, like... Pretty cool stuff, pretty cool stuff. Um, and then we got the full dates, so, you know, I mean, I'm excited. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of stuff to um, talk about. And we'll be here. We'll definitely be here. I'll take a little intermission for solo leveling until we get more info. But that's basically it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.